Hello again, and welcome back to another video of mine. And this time, I'm gonna talk about how I got into digital, digital art and where I've come to now. This time, I'm gonna talk a bit more quietly as it's a bit late and I don't want to disturb anyone. So I don't know if it's gonna sound okay. Okay, let's hope it's gonna sound okay. So the first thing would be, uh, I started digital art at around age 10. It just started for me doodling in MS Paint and I did that a lot up until like age 12 where I just kept drawing in MS Paint. I didn't know any other art program out there. Of course, as I've talked in different videos, this time in my life I just drew cats and Five Nights at Freddy's and that was basically it. We're cats, Five Nights at Freddy's, etc. That was my art at the time. But then, later on, at I don't know what age exactly, I think it was age 13, I got my first tablet. It was a Wacom, Wacom tablet, I think. But, I'll be honest, I didn't know anything about tablets at the time. I bought it at a local store, so I knew nothing of the tablet. The th this was the only tablet in the store. It was expensive for a first tablet. I would not recommend spending 120 euros on your first tablet, because the tablet didn't turn out to be actually good. I still have the tablet, it's still somewhere, uh, no one's using that tablet. You wanna know why? It's because it doesn't have pressure sensitivity. I've checked and it doesn't have it. I might need to recheck it from what I've seen, I, I don't think it has pressure sensitivity. It's not mentioned anywhere. At all. So I drew with that tablet and the main program that I used was Paint Tool Sai. Uh, I drew my Five Nights at Freddy's fan art in there now. Uh, yeah, that continued on for a year, I think. And then I decided that I wanted a new tablet. I wanted a tablet with pressure sensitivity and I asked my mom for a tablet for my birthday, so we checked, and on AliExpress I found uh, an okay looking tablet. I, I thought that this would be a good tablet for me. It's a UG5 or UG6, I don't really remember, tablet, and it has brush sensitivity, and I still have this tablet to this day. It's, it's a pretty good tablet, I'll admit. It's a really good tablet. Would I recommend it? Yeah, I would. It's okay. It's not the best thing in the world. You wanna know? No, you wanna know why? It's because it doesn't have the best pressure sensitivity. You, from what I've seen on the internet, UG tablets don't have the best pressure sensitivity. Pressure sensitivity. Gosh, I can't say that word. Um. But it is a cheaper alternative to Wacom or Interest. I don't have a thousand bucks to pay for a regular tablet. I don't have that much money to spend on a tablet. I'm not willing to spend like I'm not willing to pay like three hundred plus euros on a tablet right now where I am at. Maybe in the future, I'll save up enough money to buy a better tablet like a screen tablet, but for what I've seen, they cost a thousand euros, over a thousand euros, and that is very expensive. They look cool, but that's a lot of money. Yeah. When I got the tablet, I didn't do any research, honestly. But when I got the tablet, I found out that you can't use Psy with it, so I was like, oh shit. 
<laughs> and I didn't know what to do. So I looked online and found a free program, Krita or Krita. I don't actually know how to say that. And that's a good program I recommend it most definitely. I use that for animation. It's a pretty cool program. For it being free, it's really good. And yeah, uh, but then later on I moved on to Clip Studio Paint. At the time it was fairly really annoying having to move to a completely different program so fast. Because I only found that out when I booted up Sai and I tried to draw but I couldn't draw because Sai was not registering my tablet. I was very annoying but at least I found out why it's because the tablet doesn't work with it. Why it doesn't work with it? I have no idea. Compatibility issues maybe. Maybe because it comes from like China or something. I don't know. But yeah. Just keep that in mind if you're going to buy UG tablets. It's not going to work inside. It works fine. In Clip Studio Paint it works fine. In Photoshop it works fine. In Krita it works fine. In MS Paint it works fine. In like Drawception it works fine anywhere else except for Sai. I don't know. But yeah, that's basically my history with tablets and yeah, how I started digital art. Uh, there's not really a lot to it because honestly, it's just me drawing and experimenting, finding tutorials on YouTube and, and uh, again, returning to the topic of my first tablet. Uh, Again, I would not recommend buying an expensive tablet as your first tablet. I've seen tablets for way less. So, I like a tablet for 30 bucks is worth it as a beginner tablet, I feel like. I saw Jazza do a review on a $30 tablet and it looked really good, honestly. So, I'd recommend getting a tablet like that instead of like a Wacom tablet as your first tablet. Like Wacom 120 euro tablet that did not have any pressure sensitivity. Basically what I'm trying to get it uh, in this is do some research. Don't be an idiot like me and waste your money. Yeah, that that's it. Let's I'll stop rambling and goodbye. <laughs>